These glasses don't just transcribe and translate to 11 different languages, but you also can receive phone calls with them, notifications, and it has an inbuilt AI assistant that uses chat GBT. So before we go over the functions, let's look at the specs. See what, see what I did there? Like specifications, but spectacle. So looking at specs, it comes with a type C charging port, which charges the internal battery, which is 220 Ma. It has two speakers, one on each arm. It has two buttons. One is a power button and the other is a multi-function button. The projection only shows on the right lens and that projects at 480p, which isn't HD, but when it only shows text, it's more than enough. It also has a peak brightness of 2000 nits, which is plenty for any scenario. It comes with Bluetooth 5.3, it weighs in about 52 grams, and in comparison to the Meta Ray-Bans, which weigh about 49, they're pretty much there, they're about the same, and it's light enough that it just feels like a regular pair of glasses. It also has touch controls on the side of the arm where you can tap, hold, or double tap, or even triple tap for some other functionality. Now moving on to the functions, starting with the transcribing. So the glasses have mics around the glasses that can pick up on everything said and then transcribe it in real time, not only on the glasses, but also on the app. Where this will be super helpful is if you're in a meeting and you're asked to take minutes or notes, but you don't want to physically write them down or type them up on a laptop. You want them to happen in the background so you can stay engaged and focused on the meeting. These glasses will do all of that for you in the background. And like I mentioned, what's really cool is if you miss something said or a whole sentence said, you have the text translated on the glasses so you can reread what was missed and then you don't miss anything from the meeting. And next up is translating. It can translate up to 11 different languages. It works the same way as transcribing, but obviously with transcribing, it's from English to English, but with translating, you can translate from 11 different languages to 11 different languages. And those languages are English, Japanese, French, Spanish, Korean, Russian, German, Italian, Vietnamese, Cantonese, and Thai. And it displays a very similar way to like I mentioned with the transcribing, but you will see the native language being spoken and then it translated to whatever language you choose. And the same happens once again on the app. But it also has two translating modes. It's got voice translation, which is more for when you're just listening to a video or you're listening to a one-sided conversation and you're wanting that to be translated. But it also has a dialogue translation where you can have a bit of a back and forth between two different languages so both parties can see what's being said. And that is actually really helpful, but that's mostly for the phone, but it is displayed on the glasses also. Now, if anyone's new watching, I think you should subscribe. And the reason for that is because I show you guys the newest smartphones, some new tech, even cutting edge tech. I'm also a really smart guy. And to prove that, I'm going to read out the digits of Pi, which obviously are 3.141592653359, obviously. I have to be honest though, that is because these do have a teleprompter and I can just read out whatever I want, a sentence, a whole script on the glasses. And for the teleprompter function in the app, you do have a whole load of different options to change the size of the text, where the text is displayed on the top, bottom, full screen, and also how fast it will scroll through the text while you're reading it like a teleprompter, which is just a really helpful feature for someone like me if you are trying to get through a more complex sort of script or not try to forget certain features of a product. Now, as the glasses have speakers, you can imagine you can use these for transcribing or translating for them to be able to speak back to you whatever has been translated or transcribed. But you can also play music through these. So what I'm gonna do is play a song right now on max volume to give you some sort of idea on the quality of sound. Small. 
Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't keep track of them all From people dropping them now, I won't know what you guys are hearing until I listen to the playback, but I also know even just holding it this far away from me, it sounds fairly quiet, and that's on max volume. So if I had it about half volume, it would be quite subtle to only me being able to hear whatever I'm playing, which is quite nice to know that this isn't necessarily a massive speaker that just projects everything to the world, and if I wanted it to be a little bit more discreet, I can, and still be able to actually hear quite clearly what's being said. The glasses also display notifications, so that's text messages, phone calls, and even messages from other apps like WhatsApp. And it won't necessarily display the whole message, but it will display a portion of it, so you get an idea of what the message is about, and that obviously can make you have the choice to go check your phone to see the whole message or answer the phone because you see who's calling. And the last feature, which is the best, is the AI Assistant, which is ChatGBT, which in my opinion is the front runner when it comes to AI chatbots. Now, all you need to do, super easy, is press and hold down the power button, it brings up the assistant, you ask it whatever question you would, what's the weather, what's the highest point in England, you know, where can I go for this, anything like that, it'll give you an answer. If it's a straightforward question, it will give you an answer. Now, if you do ask it a more complicated question, that's when you'll have some trouble. Like I asked it, who are the last 50 Super Bowl winners? And it asked me to check a sports app or check my phone for the answer because it just can't deliver that much information. So if it's a very quick question, it'll give you the answer, especially if it's like a math problem, like a thousand times 2000, it'll give you the answer even though it's pretty easy. But you know what I mean. Easy math problems, science problems, or quick questions, it will answer no problem. More complex stuff, not so much. Now, what it keeps saying for me as well is that it can deliver navigation. Now, I do believe it has a compass inbuilt, so it should be able to navigate me, but whenever I've told it to navigate me to the closest restaurant or closest whatever, it says starting navigation, but nothing happens. I check my phone, there's nothing. It doesn't mention anything after I've asked it to navigate me. So I'm not sure if that feature is fully there yet or if it's coming or if there's a bug with mine specifically and it's waiting for a firmware update, but navigation might be a possibility, but for right now, for my experience, it's not. So one thing to note with glasses like this that aren't really a con because all AI smart glasses or AR smart glasses have this is you can see the text sometimes at certain angles. Oh, it's actually transcribing right now. Accidentally, I must have tapped it, which is really interesting so you can see this from the other side. So at the right angle, you can actually see that there's something a little bit more to these glasses. Now, what I will say is that the my view are a lot worse. If you watch my review of these, these are the Captify my views. Now they're very easy to see when you're using them. This is not as much because it's only on one side and you have to get the right angle. But when you do, you can see that, you know, it's quite obvious. And then you'll be able to also see the front screen. No, maybe turn it on. There we go. And you can see the time. There it is. So now that I started with some negatives, I might as well continue with some experiences that I've had. Firstly, with connectivity. Not that there's an issue connecting the glasses to the app, but once they are connected, I have had a couple of times where it's dropped off and then reconnected. And when it does that, it makes my volume max volume on my phone which is just weird. And the AI assistant is great. It might be a little bit limiting to what responses you get, but it is still very good. What's weird though, is when I follow up with another question, the response doesn't have any spaces or pauses. It's just a continued speech, which is also just, you know, not very easy to understand. And it just always happens with the response. So for instance, if I ask it, what's the highest point in England? It'll tell me. And if I ask another question to where is that? it will then have a continued just speech about where it is. But it's very hard to understand because like I said, it doesn't have any breaks in the speech um, or any pauses. Another nitpicky one, which is maybe just my face, but to actually be able to see all of the text because it does have some text at the bottom, I do have to sort of like move 
the lenses around to be able to see it. And to see it the best, I have to have the glasses quite far down my nose, and it makes me look like I'm a school teacher about to tell you off. So my final conclusion is these glasses are fairly decent if you are looking for something to transcribe or translate. If you do have an AI assistant need, which is just to ask it simple questions like, what's the weather? Is it going to rain today? Things like that. These actually might be really good for you. It will just come down to price if you can afford it or if you think it's a little bit too expensive and also looks and style if you actually think this will look well on you. I don't think glasses suit me whatsoever. Um, just to give you some comparison, this is the MyView smart glasses. So if I just put these on as well to give you some idea of what other ones are out there. This actually has a dual lens, so it has a projector on each of the glasses. So you would be able to actually see, you know, how these look, if you think these look more like glasses, or actually if you do prefer these ones. So guys, that's a review. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys next time.